Hello and welcome back to the Natural Language Institute's Grammar Tidbits. My name is Mason Lawton and let's get into it. So today we're going to be covering adjectives. So an adjective is used to name an attribute and it's usually used to modify a noun or a pronoun, but it also spices up your dialogue or your writing and it makes it a whole lot more interesting. For example, the red hat, the funny rabbit, the obnoxious girl, we're modifying that noun and making it a little bit more descriptive. So when we add ER to the end of an adjective, we're making it a comparative adjective. So tall becomes taller. And if we want to make it a superlative, which is the maximum degree of the word, we add EST to the end, so it becomes tallest. Something that might confuse non-English speakers are how do I know when to put ER at the end of my adjective or when to add more in front of the adjective? And that's when the adjective turns into a comparative adjective. You're comparing two things. So let's say you want to say, Mike is taller than Sam. That tall becomes taller and is comparing the height between Mike and Sam. It basically breaks down to the syllables in each of the adjectives. And remember that technique that we used when we were kids? Clap it out. Well, we can do that also now. So we see the word tall, tall. It has one syllable. So words with one syllable will have ER at the end to make it a comparative adjective. So tall becomes taller. Now, the same goes for two syllable words ending in Y. So for example, trendy. We take away that Y and we add an IER so it becomes trendier. I am trendier than Samantha today. Now, those are our comparatives. Now let's move on to more, which is also a comparative when you're comparing two things. So let's say the word has two syllables and it does not end in Y. For example, polite. It doesn't end in Y and it has two syllables, so we're going to add more in front of the adjective to make it a comparative adjective. Daniel is more polite than Samuel. Now, the same rule applies to three syllables and above. You're just going to put more in front of the adjective. So, beautiful. The sky is more beautiful today than it was yesterday. You can't say beautifuler. See how it sounds strange? So you've got to put that more in front of two syllable words that do not end in Y or three syllable words and above, more syllables. Does that make a little bit more sense? Now let's move on to superlatives. So for superlatives, we're using the maximum degree of the word or the highest quality. So we have one syllable words. We're still going to be just adding the in front of the adjective and EST at the end to make it a superlative. So let's use the word strong. One syllable word, strong. So we take the word the and put it in front of our adjective and then we add EST to the end to make it a superlative. The strongest man won the weightlifting competition. Now, let's move on to our two syllable words that end in Y. Let's do silly. That clown is the silliest person I've ever seen. You take silly, take out the Y, add in IEST, and you have yourself a superlative. So our two syllable adjectives that end in Y, there are gonna be a lot of exceptions to that rule. So just to confirm, always look in a dictionary or look online just to see if you're making that adjective a comparative or superlative in the correct form. So two syllable words that don't end in Y, we're going to put the most in front of the adjective. Let's try the word crowded. This is the most crowded restaurant I've ever been in. So that word stays the same, crowded. You're just adding the most in front of it to make it a superlative. Now, with our three syllable words and above, again, the rule is easy. We're just adding the most in front of the adjective and it becomes correct. So let's say confident. Annalise is the most confident girl I know. Now, again, there are some exceptions. Bad is an exception to the rule, so it's irregular, so it's going to be bad, and then the comparative adjective would be worse, and the superlative would turn to worst. Uh, far would go from further to furthest, 
and good goes from better to the best. Now I hope that cleared things up for you. There's also one more very important thing to keep in mind. When you have one comparative in a sentence or one superlative in a sentence, you cannot have both of them. So a very common error we see is when we put the word more in front of the comparative or superlative adjective. For example, Daniel is more smarter than Sam. That is incorrect. You can't have both. So remember, count your syllables, smart. It has one. So all we need is adding ER at the end so Daniel is smarter than Sam. I hope that cleared things up for you and we'll see you next time.